want to live in a world free from war. The way to free us from the scourge of war is to free ourselves from the scourge of injustice, of poverty and the misery that's associated with that. I want us to fight an election campaign on the issues of justice within our society. And our campaign will ensure that no one, no community and no area of this country is ever forgotten, ignored or left behind ever again. For those people struggling on low pay, not knowing if they'll be able to pay the rent, not knowing if they're going to be homeless, not knowing if their children will end up in care. That's the kind of brutal pressure that's put on people every day of the week in this country. I want a Labour government that says our priority is to ensure by the end of that first term of that government, everyone is decently, securely and properly housed within our society. It's the spirit of hope or the spirit of despair. Which are we? We obviously hope, not despair. It's also about challenging an economic orthodoxy that has been on the rampant march for 30 years or more. The whole agenda was the redistribution of wealth away from the majority. Away Do you want housing? Do you want care? Do you want a society coming together? I don't want to be somebody that says to young people, sorry, you're not going to have it as good as we did because the nation can't afford it. And we then cascade inequality and poverty and debt down the generations. What are we to say that the brilliance of technology, the brilliance of science, the brilliance of engineering can, should and must be the tool and the opportunity for the redistribution of wealth? Thousands more deaths in Iraq will not make things right. It will set off a spiral of conflict, of hate, of misery, of desperation that will fuel the wars, the conflict, the terrorism, the depression and the misery of future generations.